makeup station today because I want to show you guys my makeup collection and decluttering. I like keeping a really minimalist collection, really small collection that just fits in this basket, but I'm looking to add and replace a couple of things and I really love watching these kind of videos so I wanted to do one myself. So I'm just gonna pick up the first thing I see and just go item by item. So this powder, I actually just bought a couple months ago. So it's still good, still wearing it every day. I might wanna switch to a loose and translucent formula next time, but right now this works great, does the job keeping that. I'm keeping this. I actually have a backup for as soon as I run out of this, so I'm all good in the sunscreen department. And yes, I keep this sunscreen in my makeup collection because I like to put it on while I'm putting on makeup. This, I don't even know if I have any left. Let's see. Oh, it actually looks like I do. It's feeling super empty though. I'm actually just gonna put that on my hands. This is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion Sunscreen. I used this in the winter and it worked fine in the winter. It's not the best for when your skin is dry. My skin gets dry when I do like treatments on it, but normally it's oily. This is okay for oily skin, but this is my summer sunscreen and just like a really good oily skin sunscreen. So I prefer this one, but I've been using this like on my neck and my hands. So I'll hold on to that until I run out. Next I have MAC Charcoal Brown. This is relatively new, a few months old and still working through it. I wanna hit that pan, so keeping that. This is the Glossier Birthday Balm.com. This is my favorite of the Balm.coms. This one is actually the new formula that everyone hates. I didn't have a huge problem with the new formula, but they did re-release their old formula, so I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. So I'm running low on this, I think. Let me see how low I'm getting. Oh yeah, we're like down to the end of that. So I think I'm gonna repurchase this. I'm kind of looking forward to getting this again, but in the original formula. This is my Burt's Bees and Rose. I wear this every single day. Let's see how low it's getting. Oh yeah, that's pretty low. Oh my God, I can't even put that back down. Let me like use my lip to put that down. Okay, that worked. I don't like to put my finger on there, but I'm conflicted. I really like the color of this, but I just don't know. I don't know. I kind of just wanna like be adventurous and try something else but I think I do need to replenish my tinted lip balm. So I'm gonna go on a wild goose chase. I might just end up right back where I started with my Burt's Bees, we'll see. But that's gonna go in my replenish pile. I'm actually just gonna put that here. And then these are my keeps. This is my replenish. This mascara has served me pretty well. It does the job. It's really not waterproof, so anytime I'm like sweating just a little, and I don't even put mascara on my bottom lashes, only the top. But if I even sweat just a little or get caught in the rain, this transfers to under my eyes and doesn't look too good. I'm thinking I wanna splurge and go back to the Glossier Lash Slick in brown, which is what I used to use. I don't remember if that one transferred very much, but I think it had better staying power than this. And also I got this almost four months ago and I am a stickler for makeup expiration dates. So I think it's time for a new mascara. Apologies if the top of this looks gross, I need to sharpen it, but I love this lip liner. I'm kind of a fair to light, neutral, cool-ish tone of skin. This is my lips, but better. So yeah, I've used this down to the end and I think I'm gonna pick up a new one before I run out. I've been using this SPF lip balm for a couple months. I don't know how I feel about it. It's okay. It can kind of like collect on the inner part of your mouth, which can look really weird and I have to be mindful of it whenever I wear this. And I'm not sure if it gives me like breakouts. So yeah, I know it's good to get some SPF on the lips, but I'm not sure about this one. I'm gonna keep it and keep using it. And if I'm really at my wits end with it, I'm gonna get something different. But for now, it's a keep. This brown eyeliner is serving me well. I really like it. Let's see how much I have left. Okay, that's gonna get me through a, a while. I'm glad that went back down. It's got a six month expiration date and I got this in April. 
So I'm gonna be good for another three months. Last but not least is my Tower 28 concealer. This is where I'm conflicted. It was actually leaking a little bit, so I had to like wipe it off. I think it started leaking and I can't tell what the expiration is. I think I got this in, maybe it was March, maybe it was February, I don't really remember. So can you even read this? I literally can't read this. I don't know like, I don't really like how they print that and you can't even read it. This is a nice concealer and I'm always looking for a more sanitary way to apply the concealer just cause I break out so, so easily. I don't know, let me know if you guys think about the same kind of stuff. I think I'm gonna put this with this category but it's kind of the I'll think about it. All right, so this is my categories that I'm gonna do a little shopping for. So I have a untinted lip balm, tinted lip balm, concealer, mascara, lip liner, and I wanna add a blush slash sort of like a warm blush, maybe something that can be blush and somewhat of a bronzer, like two in one, just to add some more color to my face. I really like the Glossier Cloud Paint, so I'm probably just gonna get that. So yeah, I'm gonna go shopping and then do a little restock. It's a little while later. My little Sephora haul came and let's make our swaps. This is pretty much empty. I think there's like a little bit at the bottom. I'm still trying to squeeze it out, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna put it aside so we can show like a satisfying new updated collection. Still working on this. Also still working on this, but I'm gonna put it to the side just for the sake of the Satisfying. I actually decided not to get a new concealer for the time being. I'm gonna work on this and get a new one when I absolutely need it. So I decided I really didn't absolutely need it. This is expired, bye-bye. This is, it's probably gonna look kind of gross, but like this is all that's left. It won't even, oh, it went up a tiny little bit, but I'm gonna use it as much as I can. I kind of want to swatch and like, compare contrast with the new one that I got because I kind of got a fancy one and I want to see if it's all that. This is almost done. I'm so close. And then I'm still using this. So, and then I'm still using that. All right, so let me show you what I got. So, oh yeah, I got a couple Sephora gifts. So I'm gonna get those out of the way because it was my birthday, so these were free. So I get to try this Rare Beauty Primer and this Kosas brow and lip oil stuff. Let's do a little unboxing. So this is the pore diffusing primer. Here's the little container. It's so, so cute. I really like this style bottle. That feels pretty nice. Wow, I can kind of tell what part I put that on. What part of my hand. That's pretty nice. I'm like not even a primer user, so I'm excited to just try it out. All right, then I've got the Kosas Air Brow. Oh my gosh, cute, cute. Can't wait to try. And then the lip oil looks nice. That's actually a nice color. I thought it was gonna be more orangey. It kind of looks more orangey on camera, but in person, it's like a pink. Yeah, that's pretty really nice. I feel like this video should be ASMR or something because this stuff could be so ASMR. I'm totally like not even a, a makeup channel, can you tell? I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm swapping out this for this Lash Slick. It's back in my collection. I like the color brown. This says I have six months to use it, so that's good. I'm gonna try to use it. I think I wear mascara like every single day now, so focus. I love this mascara. It's my favorite one. Honestly, I would call this like the mascara for people who don't like mascara, basically. I really like it. Dang, they really want you to know that original formula is back. Let's compare. I'm kind of excited. This is the old new one. They kind of look the same. Wait, I don't know actually. This one's kind of like flatter. Is it because I've just like been flattening it out? Maybe. Love it. I kind of want to keep this in its box just to signify that it's the new one and that I can't open it yet. So I'm going to be putting that like away in my jewelry box. 
Same with this. This is my line, lip liner restock. Come on now, come on now. Here we go, lip liner restock. So beautiful. Yeah, but I'm gonna put that back in its box and put this away till it's time because I'm not done with you yet. Eee, I'm so excited. I got my cloud paint and beam. I really like this color. I've tried it a bunch of times. Yeah, this one is six months as well. I'm gonna try to wear it every single day. So cute, so cute. Oh my God, it's already coming out. Did I squeeze it? Love me some cloud paint. Guys, I don't know how to swatch. All the boxes are so cute. Like I'm so tempted to keep them, but it's like, why would I? There's no reason. All right, so my beloved Burt's Bees is getting replaced by the fancy schmancy NARS Tinted Lip Balm. Afterglow in the shade, in the shade, orgasm. I sound like a middle schooler. In the shade, orgasm. Can't say that without laughing, because I'm like literally a little kid. That's a pretty good expiration day. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh. I am so excited for this. Wow. This is lovely. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. That feels amazing. And that packaging is so pretty. You literally can't beat that. Let's compare the two. The NARS is definitely more sheer, but that's fine because I was looking for something more natural looking because I'm so pale that the Burt's Bees is, is more like a lipstick on me. It gets a lot of color payoff, which is good, but it's just like, I don't know. I'm just not down with the like full on lip look these days. I'm trying to do like lip liner and then something super natural, so. Yeah. I'm gonna wait a little while until I actually like finish up the stuff that I'm not quite done with and then do my replacements. Then I'll show you like the whole collection and make it all satisfying.